Hello and welcome back to the Gumadi Coins and Banknotes. And in today's video we have some coins from Czechoslovakia. Well, currently it's the Czech Republic and Slovakia. So these two countries. And uh, all these are silver coins. So the first coin that we have is the highest denomination that Slovakia issued during the Second World War. So this is a 1944 issue. 50 Korun and is 16.5 grams it's 70% silver and it is 34 millimeters so the best way to make a comparison is putting Australian 50 cent coins so this is one of the largest coins in the world I think United States half dollar yeah, is probably the largest currently but that barely circulates this is this really circulates in Australia as Australian viewers would actually know. So, this coin commemorates the 5th anniversary of the founding of the Slovakia Republic in 1939. And it was only founded because uh, Germany did invade uh, Czechoslovakia and take control of uh, the Czech Republic, which they call Bohemia Moravia, which is the two regions of uh, Czech, Czechoslovakia. Actually, at the time it had four regions. Slovakia was one region, Ruthenia, which now is part of Ukraine, was another. Then we had Bohemia and Moravia, which is in the Czech Republic. And all the information about this coin is, it was demonetized in 1947. And we have a mintage of this coin for of 2 million. And... You can actually purchase this one starting at a value of $20, but I doubt that you're going to find too many coins of that value because it has a silver content equivalent to about $13. So, the two engravers of this coin was Anton Harm and Andre Peter. So they done both sides of this coin. And here we have the actual leader of Slovakia at the time. And his name is President Joseph Tiso. So, not Joseph Tito, Joseph Tiso. And has information in Slovenian, which I do not know. But here we have the date, 14th of the 3rd, 1944. That would have been... 14th of the 3rd, 1939, when this country was founded. So, this is probably in fine condition, probably almost very fine. Uh, I don't think these had much detail for the hair in the first place. So, there's not much detail on that side. And it's going to be hard to actually tell the wear pattern on this side. So, you need to pick a point. I'd probably pick uh, these leaves here and depending on the valley in the actual flower uh, or how much that is left as well as the edges shield so obviously this is a bit concave and these edges are raised and here's impressed where it's been engraved so it's another way you can actually tell that coin so that's quite a nice coin the next two coins we have uh, after the Second World War. So this is the second Czech Karun, which was issued in 1945. Uh, because the value of the first and the second uh, Karun was substantially different, uh, because World War II actually reduced the value of the currency. So before 1945, the highest value coin they issued was a 20 Karun, and as you can see, this is a 50. And here we have the coat of arms of the Czechoslovakia. So it has the Czech lion with the shield of Slovakia uh, on top of the lion. It has Republic Czechoslovakia. This one's a little bit dirty. And this coin was issued to commemorate the third anniversary of the Prague Uprising in 1945. That's why it's got 1945, 1948. 
then we have uh, no lettering on the side, just a star and a wavy pattern. And this coin is 10 grams, 28 millimeters. Yeah, 2.3 millimeters. This is, and is demonetized in 1953 when they issued the third coin. And the content of silver is equivalent to about five dollars fifty Australian. So it varies in different currencies. There's one million that is minted. And their price starts from about $15 upwards. Uh, if uh, you go to eBay, you should be able to find one for $20 easily. Uh, in uh, okay condition. And also, Cats Auctions. They seem to have quite a lot of these coins uh, for sale. So the engraving is Autocar Spaniel. You're probably wondering what... Five Kavitan means it just means the 5th of May. So the Slavic countries uh, use different months than we do in the West because ours is after the Romans and in the uh, Slavic or so no, no, what are you Slavic? Yeah, that's it. Depiction they actually um, use different type of months. Uh, the entomology. No, I'm not too sure. Okay, the last coin I have is also from 1948. And this is a 100 coin with the denomination you can see at the top. So this has the coat of arms. It's actually quite a nice issued coin. Uh, they also issued it in a 50 coin. And this coin is pretty interesting in that it has a portrait of Joseph Stalin so I believe these are the only two coins that we issued with a portrait of Joseph Stalin uh, once again this coin has a mintage of 1 million as the other 50 corona and the silver content this one's only $7.80 it's 14 grams of metal so 50% silver, so that's 7 grams of silver. It's 31 millimeters in diameter, so that's going across. The thickness is 2.3. Once again, this just has a star and a wavy pattern. So this is also very interesting. And this is issued to commemorate the 70th anniversary, or birthday. Not anniversary, 70th birthday of Joseph Stalin. So that means 49, so he was born 18, yeah, my mess is good, bad, 1879, uh, and obviously he's got typical moustache of Joseph Stalin and his hairstyle, and a lot of people think that he's Russian, but he is actually Georgian. And this coin was also demonetized in the 31st of May 1953. And you can purchase these coins for a starting price of $20 uh, upwards. They generally sell for about $30 or $40. Uh, but I don't see too many of them for sale for a million. And I think a lot of them stay in people's collections for quite a long time. So... Uh, those are the free coins from Czechoslovakia. Which one is my favourite? Let's say this one, the 100 Kron of uh, Joseph Stalin, because you know, some dictators like to put their face on coins. Not all of them. Uh, some of them don't like Joseph Stalin. They've actually put his face on any of currency circulating in the Soviet Union. Anyway, thank you very much and have an awesome coin and banknote collecting time. Thank you and goodbye.